In this video, let's discuss about code coverage reporting. Code coverage is a metric that can help you understand how much of your software code is tested. It's a very useful metric that can help you assess the quality of your test suite. Here is a list of some common metrics that you might see mentioned in your coverage reports. First, we have statement coverage. This indicates how many of the statements in the software code have been executed. Next, we have branches coverage. How many of the branches of the control structures, if statements, for instance, have been executed. Next, we have function coverage. How many of the functions defined have been called. And finally, we have line coverage. How many lines of source code have been tested. Now what is great about Create React App and Jest is that with zero configuration, you can request test coverage information to be collected and reported in the output. Let's head back to VS Code and learn how to obtain code coverage report. We're going to begin by adding a new script in package.json. Let's call it coverage. And this is going to be yarn test with the coverage option, dash dash coverage. We are basically extending the test script. And the reason we do that is because coverage generally takes time and you don't want that as part of your regular test script. If we now run the command npm run coverage or yarn coverage, we see a table as part of the output. However, the table is empty and we see no tests found related to files changed since last commit. For coverage, what we need is to watch all files and not just the changed files. To fix this, we add the dash dash watch all option. If we rerun yarn coverage, we can now see a more meaningful report. Let's go over the different columns. We have the file name as the first column, statement coverage percentage as the second column, followed by branch coverage percentage, functions coverage percentage, lines coverage percentage, and at the end, Jest also pinpoints the line numbers which are not covered by any test. All the numbers you see correspond to the file in the first column. Generally, you want to address the red numbers here by writing tests that will turn them green. Now, although we could write tests for index.tsx and report webvitals.ts, I know for a fact that those tests will not add any value. What I would like to do in this case is to ask Jest to ignore these files. In fact, since most of our code in the series is going to be within the components folder, I'm going to ask Jest to cover only that folder for the report. We can use a glob pattern with the collect coverage from option. So dash dash collect coverage from, this is going to be a string, so single quotes, we're going to say source slash components slash star star slash star dot ts comma tsx. Make sure you have no spaces. So within the components folder, collect coverage from files that end with a dot ts or dot tsx extension. If we now save the file and rerun yarn coverage, we see only greet.tsx and the coverage is 100%. Of course, when dealing with larger applications, you're bound to have files that don't need a test. For example, in the greet folder, let me create greet.types.ts. I will copy paste the type from greet.tsx 
into greet.types.ts and export it. In the component file, I'm going to import greet props from dot slash greet dot types. If we now rerun the script, we see the newly added file making into the coverage report with zero coverage. To fix this, we can ask Chest to ignore the file. So back in package.json, dash dash collect coverage from is equal to a string and we say not from source slash components slash star star slash star dot types stories constants test spec dot ts comma tsx so other than types we are also ignoring stories constants test and spec since none of these files require a test to be written. Save the file, rerun yarn coverage, and we see just greed.tsx with 100% coverage. Next, let's talk about coverage threshold. With Jest, it is possible to specify a minimum threshold enforcement for coverage reports. If thresholds aren't met, Jest will fail. For example, we can add the following Jest configuration in package.json. Jest, an object, coverage threshold, which is an object again, global object again branches set at 80 functions at 80 lines at 80 and finally statements minus 10 with this configuration just will fail if there is less than 80% branch, line, and function coverage, or if there are more than 10 uncovered statements. Let's test it out. In greet.test.tsx, I'm going to delete the second test. If I save the file, you can see it still results in 100% coverage. Let's go to greet.tsx and add a branching logic when rendering the name prop. If props.name exists, render props.name, else render guest. If we now save the file, we see our first test now fails. Let's change our string to regex. This will pass the test, but our branch coverage is only 50%. If I rerun yarn coverage since we changed package.json without restarting, we see just reporting the error. Global coverage threshold for branches should be 80% and it has not been met. It is currently 50%. In the table, we see branch coverage is 50% and line number 5 is uncovered. If we head over to greed.tsx, we see line 5 which contains our ternary operator. Really helpful as you can see. Last but not the least, what I would like to mention is that Jest also generates an HTML file of your coverage report. In the coverage folder, in the coverage report folder, there is an index.html. If you open that file, you see the same report but with some CSS applied. If you select the file, it also highlights the uncovered branch. Now, One thing I would like to state at this point 
is not to focus too much on getting 100% coverage. Full code coverage does not guarantee that you have written good tests covering critical parts of your application. With that being said, it is generally accepted that 80% coverage is a good goal to aim for and you should make code coverage part of your continuous integration pipeline. Now that was a lot, so let me quickly summarize what we've learned in this video. We started by understanding that code coverage is a metric that can help understand how much of the software code is tested. We learned about the just coverage option to generate the report. We also used the watch all flag to generate coverage for all tests in the project. We were also able to specify which files we should or should not collect code coverage from using the collect coverage from flag. Finally, we learned how to set coverage threshold using the just configuration in package.json. Just will fail if the coverage does not meet the threshold requirements. Code coverage is pretty important from a CI CD point of view. So please make sure you've got a good idea of how to generate it with Jest. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you in the next one.